We're preparing for the hurricane. All of Puerto Rico is on the messy side of this thing. Hurricane Fiona's fierce winds and torrential rain. Is there water? This is how high the water line was. Whoa. So concerned for everyone here on the island. Elise kind of lost her voice. Yeah, I totally lost my voice. Oh, Elise got braces. So Hurricane Maria was a category five, which means huge amount of damage, really strong winds, and obviously the island was out of power for like eight or nine months because of the damage. All right, the rain is starting to come. What the heck? What the So we have this blanket on the floor, and it's a giant mess, and I just need to clean it up! I just need to clean it up! Oh! <laughs> yeah, you started this! Get back in there! Oh! Oh, God, so awesome. All the kids wanted in on this. This is when you can tell we do not have internet. <laughs> we do not have access to any of our normal <laughs> games. Everybody wants to be a burrito. A burrito. <laughs> That's our secret goal though as the parents. If we get you all stuck, then we're gonna go on a date. <laughs> in the hurricane. Back yeah. in the day, Jeremy was a professional burrito maker. For the babies? Oh yeah. Oh, we have to have some footage of that in the vlog somewhere. Probably a little Janae getting burritoed. <laughs> Did you yeah. know that's how you slept when you were a baby? You're mummified. What? Oh my goodness. So a bunch of just like branches down, nothing big. We're going. Oh, here's a branch. Whoa. Whoa. Got the umbrella for this one. It's starting to rain a little heavier. All right. Who likes giving cookies? Me. Today we are gonna go help people who have like inches of mud inside of their house. For several days there hasn't been water and electricity and the aftermath of the storm is sort of the worst part because there's flooding all throughout Miguel lives in this house. This is his fifth time that it's flooded like this, and he has his aging father that he's also taking care of. It's just crazy what people go through when they're living down here close to the river. The mud is intense. Everything is super heavy when you're carrying it out. So um, our cistern, which is supposed to be our water storage, didn't function the way it was supposed to. So we had no water for several days. We kept trying to get repair people or people to fill it up, but it, it was just really hard. Everyone's needing help right now. And you're aiming for the little hole in the bottom, okay? Hurricane. What do you think a hurricane is even gonna be like? Well, I've lived here for a while, so I kind of have a picture. It's just more like wind and a bunch of rain and the beach is gonna be really big and a bunch of waves. That reminds me of a tornado. It, it's like a tornado tropical version. All right, so we've just dumped a bunch of stuff in here so that none of our bikes or any of our floaties or anything float away. We also had the generator filled up yesterday because power outages are likely. Uh, I went up to, onto the roof and I cleaned out the gutters and yeah. all the drain. We don't want any flooding up on the roof. We're gonna put our outdoor couch cushions in my office. Elise is helping. <laughs> yeah. Elise kind of lost her voice. Yeah, I totally lost my voice. Like sometimes I go. She like, had like pink eye and she was sick. Well, technically it wasn't pink eye because. It was like a virus. Yeah. Oh, Elise got braces. We did a TikTok and a short on it. It's 
Braces Day. What does it feel like? Bumpy. Okay, I like this color. It looks good. I did it! And I survived. She's getting ready to come in and show everybody. All right, wow. they want to see it. The big reveal. Yeah, I have braces. It happened. It How's happened. it feeling? Normal, like it just feels like I have stuff on my teeth. It's really annoying. But... You look so different. People are saying that all the time. You no longer have the glasses. Yeah. You have braces. You grew up. It's crazy, it fans. And your voice is a bass. Yes, I, I. <sighs> I'm bad. Man. So the hurricane hasn't hit our part of the island yet. We're still just getting ready for the storm. I love your tutu swimsuit. I got it for my five-year-old birthday. So we used to have a protective net around the trampoline, but it got broken and it was like leaning in. It became more dangerous than not having it on. We're trying to order a new one, but it's been really hard with supply chain issues and here on the island. So now they're playing on the trampoline the way I used to when I was a kid, before the nets were really a thing. So Hurricane Maria was a category five, which means huge amount of damage, really strong winds, and obviously the island was out of power for like eight or nine months because of the damage. Roofs peeled from buildings, debris flying. Structures collapsing. Up to 30 inches of rain in some areas, engulfing whole neighborhoods. The storm we're dealing with right now, Hurricane Fiona, which is coming through, is just a category one, just coming up from being considered a tropical storm. You hear us talk all the time about a messy side of a system. This is it. All of Puerto Rico is on the messy side of this thing. But still, with it being a hurricane, everything on the island is shut down. All the stores are closed, and again, the power is off. The island is just sitting and bracing for this storm. We're also lucky because the storm is supposed to hit another part of the island much worse than the part of the island we're on. All right, we made German pancakes this morning. You at least made the buttermilk syrup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have this blanket on the floor and it's a giant mess and I just need to clean it up. I just need to clean it up. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you started this. I get back in there. Does dad need to do a belly flop on it? <laughs> Here I come! <laughs> First I'm gonna get this little, oh, Sonny's on. Sonny's on. Get him, Sonny, get him. <laughs> He's all, wait, what's under there? Hey! No! Don't crush the children! Okay, Sonny. like, wait, what? <laughs> And he's out. So if you guys need any ideas about what to do when you're bored during a hurricane. Blanket. This is apparently our best idea. Yeah. You guys feel that wind and rain? Yeah. Feeling pretty grateful for our house, huh? All right, the rain is starting to come. What the heck? What the heck? It's like we're in a giant car wash for houses. Snuggly sunny. Yeah, he's so cute. So we got him a haircut. Kind of chopped off a lot of his fluff. So these are all decks that are incomplete. That's true. That's so sad. So I'm hoping, I'm keeping them because some of them are just missing one or two, so maybe we'll find them. But also, our kids like to build with cards. Yeah. So these are the ones for magic tricks. These are the ones for just, Building, playing. Yes. Don't so touch the complete ones. I'll put them somewhere else. Kids are playing rainy games rainy. on the rainy day. Do you remember what we did on our last rainy day? What? Laura built an obstacle course. Oh, uh, yeah. We made a little short about it. 
It's a rainy day today, so the kids have been having fun in We built an obstacle course. This was so much fun, but I think it's time to clean it up. Yeah! Um, can I try? Yeah! How about me against Dad? Yeah! This one's tough. I don't seem to have logic. You do, you're just still developing it. So I have 21. Yeah, yeah. So you have to try to make those colors work. Yep. I did it, I did it, look. You filled all the spaces. I love logic games. Janae has been reading more and more yeah. and more lately. You're a reader now. Yeah. yeah. Elise joined in. I remember doing this when they were little infants. I'm a burrito! They wanted to be burritos. Can I get another big blanket and wrap us all into one? One giant burrito? Yeah, yeah. It's a burrito, it's a burrito! <laughs> All the kids wanted in on this. This is when you t can tell we do not have internet. <laughs> we do not have access to any of our normal games. Everybody wants to be a burrito. A burrito. <laughs> That's our secret goal though as the parents. If we get you all stuck, then we're gonna go on a date. <laughs> in the hurricane. Back yeah. in the day, Jeremy was a professional burrito maker. For the babies? Oh yeah. Oh, we have to have some footage of that in the vlog somewhere. Probably a little Janae getting burritoed. <laughs> Did you yeah. know that's how you slept when you were a baby? You're mm. mummified. I want to be so tight, I can't escape you. I'm just gonna leave Okay, try to escape. How is there even anywhere to tickle this burrito? Okay. <laughs> Isaac, more than any of the kids, like, had to be wrapped up, and if his little arm came out, he would cry in the night and wake up. <laughs> So we became professional burrito makers from the beginning. <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute! Okay, ready and smile! Everybody look at me, smile! I made a batch of chocolate chip cookies. Um, today kind of feels like a snow day that we're used to back in Kansas City, so... I don't know, it felt right to bake something. Wait. Oh. Almost. Wait. Oh! 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 <laughs> that was impressive. That was like the first try we were filming. The rain has slowed down for a minute, so we decided to make up a batch of cookies and jump in our van and try to go deliver it to some of our neighbors that live closest to us. Everyone's stuck at home. That yeah. sounds like fun. So we thought it'd be fun to surprise people. And you definitely don't expect a knock on your door on a day like day. And bonus, it gets us out of our house. So here's some of the stuff that's happening in other parts of the island. Whoa. Major flooding. Major That's flooding. Crazy. Devastating. So Kendra reached out to some of our friends to see how they're doing with the hurricane. Because we have friends all over the island and we know that our part is not getting hit as hard. So this is, the river is overflowing and it's pulling all of that into the river. Whoa. That's crazy. Cookies. Load up, kids. What? Oh my goodness. 
So a bunch of just like branches down, nothing big. We're going. Oh, here's a Whoa! branch. Whoa! for this one. It's starting to rain a little heavier. All right. Who likes giving cookies? Me. It's hard to take him out when it's all wet and rainy. Yeah. So we're just starting dinner, but somebody knocked on our door. Yes, and brought us cookies. And brought us cookies. And it wasn't someone we had taken cookies to. And it was so fun to feel remembered. And just the joy can keep going. Right. Jeremy made dinner, spaghetti, bread, vegetables, and watermelon. He did that while I was reading out loud to the kids. It's the best meal ever. It really is. We're all big fans of spaghetti. But heavy, heavy rainfall continues. And again, it's nighttime, no power anywhere on the island, and they're dealing with very heavy rain. So we're supposed to get five more inches of rain tonight. Elise used her gel nail kit tonight. What color is this? It's my, one of my favorite colors. My friend had it and traded each other's colors because I loved it so much. What's it called? It's 131. I was hoping for like mint or sea, ocean yeah. breeze. <laughs> 131. Yeah, that would be fun. So this is an LED light mm -hmm. and it does this and it stays on forever. Yep. It's super cute. All right, I think you're the last one up. I'm listening to Robin Hood. Oh, have fun. Yeah. All right, good night. Good night. It's been one day since Hurricane Fiona's fierce winds and torrential rain finally left Puerto Rico. And people are now just beginning to grapple with widespread damage and no power. Well, we slept all through the night and it rained all through the night. The rain has let up for a minute, so Jeremy was able to go check the generator, but we still have no power, we have no internet, and this morning we have no water. Our cistern for water storage is up on our roof, and so Jeremy's gonna go check and see if there's anything. Luckily, Caleb is a master climber. Look, it's slippery. Yeah, it's all wet. Good job. All right, we're gonna clear out some of the drain drainage first. This can actually lead to flooding. Clear it all out. Good job. Man. Yeah. yeah, then water comes spurting out now. Okay, we're checking the cistern. Uh. Oh. <laughs> so no water is coming out of that. Is there water? No. There's almost no water in the cistern. So we must have been running off of it and it. And we didn't know. Yeah, or it wasn't getting filled up. We could fill it up with some rainwater, no. and then it has a filter. filter. All right, so just to be able to like flush the toilets, we're getting some of this drainage water. <laughs> well, this is super embarrassing. We've been filling up this trash can, and it was leaking the whole time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we only got this much water. It's from only allowed in one hurricane, and it's so bad, like it's flooding everywhere. Yeah, can you imagine a category five hurricane? Floods like everywhere. They didn't have power for months. What? Yeah, like seven, eight, nine months. It's interesting because when we did our one million subscriber service celebration, we actually were doing kits to send to Puerto Rico because of Hurricane Maria. Really? Yeah.
So we've been trying to come up with Halloween costume ideas for our family costume. We've been brainstorming by movies, cartoons, careers. Let us know in the comments what you're gonna be for Halloween. We're still trying to figure it out. I'm excited though, as things have calmed down, more kids are able to go and hang out and play. So we have a bunch of kids over here playing on the trampoline. One, two, three. <laughs> I think Bodhi got some of the bounce there. Sunny has Nala back over here. <laughs> so it's really nice to have the rain gone. People were driving around. I went up to the store even, and there was a lot of food and water still there, so that's a good sign. I got the last thing of bread. <laughs> and kids were obviously out and around playing. There's still no power, still no water, so that's the big issue. But the kids are having fun. One, two, three. <laughs> Today we are gonna go help people who have like inches of mud inside of their house. For several days there hasn't been water and electricity and the aftermath of the storm is sort of the worst part because there's flooding all throughout. So when we arrived in the neighborhood we saw that there weren't enough shovels and gloves and so we're coming to just pick up some of the supplies to help things move quicker. Miguel lives in this house. This is his fifth time that it's flooded like this and he has his aging father that he's also taking care of. It's just crazy what people go through when they're living down here close to the river. The mud is intense, everything is super heavy when you're carrying it out. I'm glad to get the kids up here to see what some people are going through and to try to do a little bit that we can to help out. So Miguel has had to sleep right here on this cot the whole time while the place is getting cleared out from all this mud and water. Like this is how high the water line was. So this is great from the states. There's some nonprofits that are coming out and helping with vouchers or different things to give support for people who are suffering from all the carnage of the hurricane. So I learned a little bit more too about the community that organized this. It was just a woman, Maria. She had a friend that lived here in the neighborhood and saw that nothing was being done to help the people here. So she posted something on WhatsApp that spread around some of our friends and community and a bunch of people came out and uh, tried to do anything they can to help. Well, we're getting ready to clean up and go. We spent most of our time here in Miguel's house. This was all just stuff in his room and his bathtub was full. I spent, I think, an hour just trying to clear out the bathtub bucket by bucket of mud. There's still a lot of work to do, but it's almost to the point where they can start cleaning the floors rather than just clearing out the mud. So our generator has been running nonstop for almost a week, so we're trying to make sure it's okay. So there's repairmen that come around to our neighbors and I've run up to them and like, hey, can you come and do an oil check? And we just wanna make sure that the generator doesn't blow up on us, which actually happened to our neighbor a couple years ago. There's definitely oil. Okay, so that's, that's good. good. That's good. That's gonna fix it. Oh. Okay, well this week has been rough. For our experience, the actual day of the hurricane was very mild, but the aftermath has been a lot harder. So um, our cistern, which is supposed to be our water storage, didn't function the way it was supposed to. So we had no water for several days. We kept trying to get repair people or people to fill it up, but it, it was just really hard. Everyone's needing help right now. Luckily, we had some water storage on hand of water bottles and some water gallons. But we would not have been able to flush our toilets had my friend not so generously offered that we could come take buckets of water from her pool and use pool water to flush our toilets. So we've learned a lot about water conservation this week and um, yeah, it's it's been hard. Um, power is still out, but our generator is going strong. Um, we did have to turn it off for a day because it needed some repairs, but we were able to get that done in just one day. And so unfortunately during this whole time, there has been like a heat advisory. It is so hot right now in Puerto Rico. like. 100 degrees like it is just miserably hot and so i'm feeling so grateful for our generator and just so concerned for everyone here on the island i really hope we get services back up soon 
but luckily we have a friend who is willing to let us come take some buckets of water from her pool and use that to flush the toilet. And our amazing Puerto Rican friend has taught us so much this week about how to conserve water, how to wash a lot of dishes with a very small amount of water and how to flush toilets more effectively as well because literally every drop of water is like so precious right now. How to flush a toilet post hurricane edition. Okay, so that's like half a gallon maybe. So before when we were filling the back, we would use an entire one of these green things. Now we're just using that little bit. Okay, now you gotta use some force, okay? And you're aiming for the little hole in the bottom, okay? So Laura actually came up with this idea. She poked a bunch of holes in the top of the water bottle. And I was concerned. I was like, Laura, we cannot waste water. And she said, no, I'm trying to make a better way to wash your hands. So instead of just pouring some water on your hands, what you do is you lather first. That's very important. Lather first. And then you can just spritz it with just a little bit of this. And it uses way less water than when we were pouring it. My Puerto Rican friend Sully taught me this one. To wash dishes when you don't have a lot of water, you put the soap directly on the sponge, okay? And then, see, I'm still not using any water, okay? So then you can just use a small amount. You should get the spritzer for off. that. I should get the spritzer over here. A lot less water used. I have been so grateful for all that I have learned from the Puerto Ricans here on the island this week. Um, I have not been through a hurricane before and they have and they are very resourceful and so kind and willing to share what they know and I'm just inspired by them. Well, the kids got to wash their clothes by hand today in a bucket of water. Um, something I learned is that before another hurricane, I would definitely do all of my laundry first. I think the thing that I've learned most about preparing for an emergency Yes, it's super important to have some water on hand, to be prepared in all the ways you can, but being connected to your community, to your neighbors, is so vital during these kinds of emergency situations because the rest of the world shuts down and you're left with this network of the people right around you. And as we each shared what we could, you know, helping each other out in every way possible. That has been what has made the biggest difference for me physically and emotionally this week. I could not have gotten through this without my neighbors. Good night, Jay House out.